So as a P. Diddy and Cassie lawsuit is settled, videos and images of Cassie with Diddy have leaked and they do not look pretty in any regard. So a trigger warning is in place for just content that can be triggering for a lot of people. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hopefully you guys are ordering well today. Back at again, it is daily and consistent content 24 seven. Subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. Send a super thanks if you guys wish to, thumbs up, comment down below, and let's get into this video. So a video and an image have resurfaced, have leaked, whatever you want to call it. They are on the internet and people have been discussing it in the past 24 hours. I'm also quite surprised that it's not being discussed so much so, but there is a video of Cassie on the floor under a um, duvet and you can hear Diddy's voice as he's taunting her. And What you gotta say now? You ain't got shit to say when you put your girl on. What you gotta say now? You ain't got shit to say when you put your girl on. Basically saying, you know, this is what I've got to do, or etc. I don't know what he's saying, but he's just taunting her in this video. And it very much looks like she is in an odd position. Why is she hiding her face? Does she have marks or bruises all over her? And why is she all coddled up in a fetal-like position on the floor in front of him with a duvet on top of her? It just goes to show you how sneaky and wild this is. Not only that, but an old Instagram picture that she uploaded herself which immediately at the time when she uploaded it, everybody saw it as an ATV accident where, you know, she has a stitch on her eyebrow and a bruised lip. Now, you don't get marks like that from being in an ATV accident. So that corroborates exactly with all of the beatings that took place via Diddy. And at this time that she uploaded this, she was also dating Diddy as well. So this weird video and this weird image have somehow come to the surface. Yet again, since Cassie has filed this lawsuit, so many increments have been revealed, resurfaced, published that all aid and abet and corroborate Cassie's truth and how she was abused by this man. I 100% believe Cassie. She has no idea or no reason to lie. It's not a money grabbing situation. And I need people to use their common sense. When I, when I start touching my ears like this is when I'm going to go mad. No lawyer is going to touch Cassie's case unless she has an incredible amount of evidence if you're going up against P. Diddy. No lawyer is going to touch her case. Evidently, they touched her case and she got the right result and settled because amount of the evidence that she has. Not only that, but let me tell you why Cassie won and why she's so clever. She named this um, lawsuit with the title, The S Word and Trafficking. That opens it up for anybody else now to run through the floodgates and file a civil or criminal lawsuit. Her, suit was, um, her lawsuit was civil, not criminal. So it's up to a prosecutor if they want to prosecute P. Diddy and go up against him. I don't think that they will do that. For some reason, I feel like he has connections and money. He's not just a guy with money. He's got both. But if Epstein can go down, then I absolutely think P. Diddy can go down as well. Because I feel like Epstein had a lot more connections than P. Diddy. An audio has also resurfaced from 50 Cent speaking to two people on radio where he was he was sent photos of Cassie, you know, being penetrated by numerous men. And of course, you know, he, she was like, what, what the hell's going on? And asked Pity, Pity Diddy about it, sent the photos, was like, you know, where is this all from? Pity Diddy played dumb and pretended that he didn't know where the photos come from. What kind of sick person does that? Sends the photos out to people and then claims that he has no idea where it's from. When he was part of the, these ritual freak-offs, candles, pictures, and you know, her being penetrated. And 50 Cent in this audio genuinely sounds concerned, but why are the men laughing? This is my other issue and I'm gonna go mad again. The men laughing is why so many people don't come out and discuss a significant amount of abuse that they've gone through. Because men laugh, masculinity tropes, LOL, it's not that serious, going back and forth over insane stuff like this and it gets rubbed under the carpet. And this is why victims, and this is why people who go through horrific levels of insane abuse, number one, block it out, but number two, don't speak about it because there's no support system around them to want to speak about it and they have to fear for their life as well. So I absolutely commend Cassie because I can absolutely relate to her. These freak offs, were exactly the things that I were told to do to grown men. If you write my name, I had a whole scandal last year, some foot stuff and etc. And I was told by these men to say slurs. Race play related slurs. These men will not be in rooms. Nobody questioned the fact that these men are in their 40s and I was 17, 18. Nobody questioned the fact that Cassie is 18, 19, dating a man near his near 40s. So they will lock me in rooms. 
drug me when, or sedate me in, in something or inebriate me in their drinks and you know you absolutely lose sense of where you are and you're just told to say things and do things and act in a submissive or dominant way for these men but yet I got all the blame when everything came out last year not these men and you know a lot of people are like well why didn't you come ahead of the story Mariah why didn't you publicly talk about it uh, because A these men like I will probably come for me <laughs> they're very dangerous men B ain't nobody gonna expect no Middle Eastern, Arab, religious, Muslim boy to come and tell the world and see, even if I did, it's going to come against me. So regardless, you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. So I can understand Cassie's position because in the freak-offs, in those lawsuits, she was told to say slurs. She was drugged up. She had, was told to put oil all over her. There were multiple men around her that were hired via Diddy as well. And she had to just do it and she filmed she had to just film it so i can completely relate to where she comes from and she probably did those freak offs when she was 18 19 i believe the lawsuit says she came out with this how long after 10 to 15 years after because the trauma the ptsd it's all of it is, is insane and yet again there's no support for the young and i always say protect the children save the young protect the children protect the young protect our younger generation of boys and girls because these boys and girls are being trafficked touched up abused forced to play out fantasies and etc there's no support system and they get all the blame and these men get away with it which is why diddy's gone away with it for so for how many years for how many years has this man gone away with it and he's still a free man today so i hear people say oh why has diddy gone away with it for so long don't be so stupid the entire system and the public and everybody supports and enables these men which is why the two men were laughing on that audio with 50 cent it's an absolute travesty it is disgusting and i feel for cassie in this moment of time the amount of ptsd and trauma that she's had bringing this all out in such a way and for the fact that she was trapped for so long and couldn't find anywhere to go absolute madness protect the children guys protect the young protect the young generation of boys and girls because they are the ones being touched up left right and center and we have a right it's, it's a due diligent our right as people to protect our young children for all the crap that they're going through left right and center because if if not us especially us who've been victims of all this abuse and trafficking etc if not us then who because I would like to know, then who? Because it can happen with celebrities, it can happen with your family households, it can happen in schools, it can happen in, in so many places. It is absolutely insane. Don't be running your children off to their friend's house so they can do sleepovers without you checking who the F they're sleeping with. Because it's insane. The fact that Usher's mother allowed him to go across the pond to stay with Diddy at the age of 15. What kind of mother are you? Point blank period. I'm going to keep it a buck. What kind of mother are you? Let's keep it a buck for a minute. As a mother and father sending off your minor children to go and hang out with adults, you are a waste man. Point blank period. Bieber's parents, why is he walking around as a young kid? with Diddy and Diddy these men are going to prey on these young boys and girls because they don't know any better at that age but these men do and they're everywhere everywhere in the world and it's sad and disgusting so your motto in life should always be protect the young protect the young children and prevent them from living the life and going near these weird nasty men it's an absolute disgust this is a, this, this turned into a rant this wasn't even meant to be a rant guys this wasn't even meant to be a rant. The way I just, the way I just, I just turned this into a whole rant. I'm coming on my own charity soon. Hopefully in a couple, in a month. I don't want to rush it, but it's called the Forgotten Boys. And you know, I've helped a few, a few boys so far. I've taken them out of systems where they have been abused. I've taken them away, given them financial packages, given them a new set of life. And these are, you know, boys grown up 19, 20, 21, giving them a second chance at life because you gotta be the responsibility that you wish you had. You gotta be the support that you wish you had, at, wish you had at that age. You have to help these young boys and girls because nobody's doing it. And I feel like, it's just insane. There's not even one charity in the UK, in the United Kingdom, for young black and brown boys of color going through this type of abuse that a victim like Cassie went through. There's not even one in the, in the United Kingdom. Are you absolutely insane? Do you know how mad that is? And these boys are on our streets. And these boys are being like, it's insane. It's insane. So I've helped three boys so far and God willing, I will create this organization properly and just help so many more because that's what I care about. Like, that's what life is about. I'm so sorry. 
helping others. I, I, woo! Sorry, it's just the church. The way I'm just screaming. I'm, anyway, free Palestine. I, I, now that I'm, I, at this point, might as well. But anyways, subscribe to the channel. Click that button for daily and consistent content. Sorry for the rant. Sorry for just going on different tangents. And just in the most, I, this mental video is meant to be three minutes long. You know, I love my short videos, child. But I don't turn it into some whole rant for no reason. Subscribe. Click that button. I would appreciate it. Send a super thanks if you guys wish to. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.